Good morning and welcome inside another edition of That's What I Think with Brandon Swanson. I'm your fearless host, Brandon Swanson. And today, I'm talking the Michigan Wolverines. Another season that has to have fans wondering how. How did we get here? How are we not in the playoffs? Well, we'll get to that. The Michigan Wolverines started off the season with a loss on the road to the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. 24 to 17 the final score. No blowout, close game. Notre Dame has gone on to be 12 and 0 and be the number 3 team in the playoffs. So pretty impressive. The loss is a good one, as they say. And then Michigan went on to win 10 straight games. 10 straight games. Blowing out Nebraska. Obviously, everyone pretty much did. Not Ohio State. Keep that in the back of your head. So Nebraska, Penn State, wins against Northwestern, Wisconsin, Michigan State. And then it came down to the final game. Final game of the season. Final game of the regular season. You needed, if you're Michigan, you needed to win one more game. You controlled your destiny. You were going to head to the Big Ten Championship game. Who is it against? Big Brother. And as it has been since 2015 when Jim Harbaugh came, Michigan has fared extremely well against Big Brother Ohio State. Oh wait, no they haven't. So let's go back and take a look at 2015. A loss, 42 to 13. 10 and three in that season. Good record, but did you make the playoffs? No, you did not. How about 2016? Another loss, but a just outrageously great game. 30 to 29, two OTs. Many would say the ref screwed you. Eh, many would be right. Another 10 and three season, but another miss of the playoffs. 2017, a loss, 31 to 20. Record that year, eight and five. Missing the playoffs again. And here in 2018, not just a loss, a shellacking, 62 to 39. Another at least 10 win season, possibly 11. But again, no trip to the playoffs, none at all. This past loss to Big Brother, 62 to 39, I'll repeat again, because it's so terrible, may be the worst game against Ohio State to this point ever, only because not just the score, but the hype around it. And what the score was pretty much at the end of the third quarter, only being down by a score. And you lose 62 to 39. Not even a chance. Michigan, come on. For the love of God, give yourselves a chance. You didn't. You didn't. You came to play for part of the game, and as always, what you've done certainly since at least 2015, is you've given in to Big Brother. You have. Every year. 2016 was close. 30-29 to in double overtime. You hung right there. You should have won. But here in 2018, things are different. You got shellacked. You missed your shot at the Big Ten Championship game, playing against Northwestern, a team you had already beat. 20-17, to I know, but... You'd already beat him. You've seen him before many times. You had a chance. And with that win, with a win against Ohio State to knock them out for sure, with a win against Northwestern to take the Big Ten crown, Michigan's in, not Oklahoma. Another season ending in disappointment. Yeah, sure, you get to the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl. Who doesn't love Chick-fil-A? Who doesn't love peaches? But that is not what Michigan set out to do at the beginning of the season. They didn't go, hey guys, let's really try and play for that Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl that we want to be in, right? Yeah, that's going to be fun. No. No. Not at all. 
National Championship. National Championship. People at the University of Central Florida know it well, even though they didn't win one. They know it well. That's what Michigan is lacking. That's what they haven't had a chance at since 2015. I think Jim Harbaugh is a great coach. I think he's outstanding. I think he's tough. I think he puts together good teams. I think he puts together good defenses. And he certainly puts it all out there. It's just not happening. It's just not happening. Michigan's not going to the playoffs. They're not going to the national championship game. Ten and three seasons are great. But for how long are you going to go ten and three? How long are you going to be only this good and then capped off there? Coaches have been fired over it. Coaches have been ridiculed because of it. Jim Harbaugh certainly may not be the problem with Michigan, but I don't know if he will be the long-term solution for them not being able to get into the playoffs. I don't know if he will be the piece that needs to get them there because he hasn't yet, and he's had since 2015. And he's had good teams, and he's had good seasons, but not one has ended in a playoff appearance or a chance of a national title. Urban Meyer, the nemesis, the arch nemesis of Jim Harbaugh, just recently announced earlier this week that he was going to be retiring from Ohio State and leaving coaching. Done. Done. Who can blame him? A tumultuous season. It ends well for him. They win the Big Ten, but they don't go anywhere else, and... Urban Meyer probably making the best decision for him and the team and the university as well. And now that Urban Meyer is gone, Jim Harbaugh is still there, but the guy who he could never beat is gone. And the recruits that Meyer could draw may not be coming. It's off to offensive coordinator Ryan Day. Can they save the day at Ohio State? Can he keep it where they are? Can he keep the success level where it is right now? It remains to be seen, but we'll find out. Jim Harbaugh has an opportunity here to take the Big Ten East, put a stranglehold on it, and keep it for a long time. But if Jim Harbaugh cannot beat Ryan Day in 2019, I don't know. It may start to spell the demise of one Jim Harbaugh. Like I said before, great coach, great guy. Intensity level is way up through the roof. Players love him. Fans love him. Heck, the media loves him. He's great. But when you look at it, and even though you're good and you're 10 and 3 and you're going to a bowl game and you're 10 wins again, you're going to a bowl game. The only game that matters at the end of the season is a national championship. It's a national championship game. It's the only thing that matters. And if he's not there, after all the time that he's had, and even the successes, and we've seen coaches fired for all sorts of different reasons. And having a coach be fired because he's good but not good enough, well, it wouldn't be the first time. And like I said before, Jim Harbaugh may not be the problem with Michigan not getting to the playoffs. But at the same time, he very well may not be the solution. And a solution may be coming sooner than later. And it may be a team a Michigan team without Jim Harbaugh. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Really appreciate it. Glad to be back this week with you talking Michigan football, Jim Harbaugh, and just the fact that uh, he's got to get it together and get them to a playoff. He has not yet in his uh, four years from 2015 till now. He has not done it, and he cannot beat Ohio State. Hasn't beat him once yet.
How much more time does he have? Uh, thank you so much again for watching and tuning in. We'll be back again next week, same time, same place, right here on MVP. Have a great rest of your week. Have a wonderful weekend. So long.